Hello, just wanted to check in on the whole thread depth and nipple question online here. Over here, I got a DT arrow comp spoke, DT head right there, and we have a 12, a 14, and a 16 millimeter DT nipple. Starting with the 12 millimeter nipple, and we got ourselves fully engaged, that much stick out. So I'm going to say there's probably about eight millimeters of thread inside of this nipple allows you to go up and over. 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter up next. What do you think? Let's see. And that is not not only is it not up and over, but if you look really carefully there, it's not quite flush. It's almost flush. So we'll call that 10 millimeters of thread inside of there. And this is maxed out. If you are trying to get any more tension in your spoke and you look like this, your threads are mashing up against the inside of the nipple where it is unthreaded. And then finally the 16 millimeter. DT and notice that it not only is it shorter, it's definitely sticking below the surface. So you have about another millimeter less engagement there. And if this is fully engaged, your threads are not really going through the top and you actually lose strength. So I would not recommend using this nipple regardless I don't think it's appropriate and you definitely don't want to fix a wheel with spokes that are too short with this because this head will break off over time much faster so you're better off actually using the correct spoke length instead and with Sapim I've noticed all their 14 and 12 millimeter nipples all come through they all have about 8 millimeters of thread inside so you do have the opportunity or the ability to get all the way through like you saw this one over here. So you do have about two millimeters from ideal, meaning flush to the head, top of the head, to about two millimeters over without having any uh, real issues with the wheel over there. So hope that helps. Stay easy, y'all.